Welcome back, you lovely people, to another bow review. And I'm not sure yet if it's a Patreon review because this is the Xerxes from Lukas Navalny. But it's 50 pounds at 33 inches, and I was yesterday with the Griffin from Paragon on a 3D parkour, and it's uh, 53 pound or something, so roughly the same poundage. And I have to admit, I'm lazy. I don't train properly. My shoulders and after 20 targets, my shoulder didn't want to, so at the end I couldn't, and it was not a joy to shoot anymore. So I will try this bow in the weekend on another 3D parkour, and I see if I manage to go the whole round without having any problems with my shoulders. If I have problems, I will give this one away to my patrons. If it's not a problem, and you vote for it in the new poll, most probably Xerxes will win, hands down. I will order a new one, might only take a little, so I only wanted to save time. So if this bow is a little too heavy for me in the long run, I mean here in the, in the review I only shoot 20, 50 arrows or something, that's fine. But if it's too much, I will give this one away. Okay, so look at this, what Lukas sent me. The Xerxes with a horn belly effect, with a birch burk on the back, with a nice leather handle with two inlays of rayskin. And this is, he said, 50 pounds at 33 inches. And then already, <coughs> so it's, he calls it reflex deflex bow, so it's an old Persian design. But the, it doesn't have sears, but they are a little more. Uh, a little stronger than a traditional recurve, so you still have a little, so let's say, semi-static recurve. For the rest, it's a beautiful bow, I can tell you. What I got, he sent me this string here with string silences on it, which I guess makes sense, but of course, he sent me another string without string silences, so I can test and see if there is any difference. Let's see. You get, of course, the bow, the string, the sleeve, his warranty card, and they got a description. I'm not sure if everybody will get this description, but this is what you get. And you get always, when you get the birch bark cover something, you always get a tube of super glue, just in case it can happen that on the corners or somewhere the birch bark comes off. It's not a damage or a failure. It's simply you super glue it back and it's fine, but it's beautiful. This bow is just beautiful. So, it's a, it's a Xerxes, an old Persian bow, reflex deflex, laminated. We have a knock-to-knock -knock length of 140 centimeters and the string is 130 centimeters. Brace head, I don't know. This one is 40 at 28 and 50 at 33. So at five inches, you have 10 pounds more. This is just perfect, two pounds per inch. You can have it up to 70 pounds in max draw. And the max draw is 33 to 35 inches, this short bow, yes, but only the up to 40 pounds, it makes 35, more than 40 pounds. So this is a 40 pounder, only 33 inches. Recommended arrow weight is 10 to 12, but you can go down, down to nine grain per pound, but recommended is 10. What you get is the bow. The base price of this beautiful bow is 630 euros and then you can have the horn belly effect which is 60 euros the birch bark cover is 60 euros you can have a phenolic grip stabilization built in so the grip doesn't bend that much it's 60 euros i would always recommend this one the rest is optics uh, and you can have stinger arrow passes which are nice so you don't scratch up your leather it's 25 euros it's fully worth it and then you can have a pistol grip or a shelf on it, which is another 90 euros. So base price 630. And then with all your add-ons, you end up at whatever, 800 euros. But it's fine for a bow like this. This out of the way, own measurements, but I think I don't have to measure anything because Lukas did a good way. What I didn't see was now a draw curve. So if I'm in the mood, I will do a draw curve. A forced. So we measure directly inches because centimeters we know already. It's 56 inches from knock to knock. 56 is, let's see, 56. Where was 56? Is 141, 
142, yeah, so roughly 140 centimeters, fine by me, fine by Lukas. We are not, you know, it's not rocket science. We have an arrow pass, which is not too narrow, but I said you can have it with a shelf and a pistol grip and everything, so you can really modify this bow to your liking. It's 25, 4. Oh, Stroma Donna, really, it's, you know, it's, I don't know, my arms are too short or something is wrong with this scale. It's 23.5 millimeters, that's quite narrow. 23.5. So, the weight of the bow, I tell you in a second. First, we string this beautiful bow. And then we see how it works with the poundage. That's the longer one, that's the shorter one. And what I like on this bow, the loops are very small. <coughs> so, they, when you have it on, they will knock on the, the knocks are a little bit Korean style, I would say, with leather hoodies on it. Then you have a small string groove here that the string always lines up in the recurve, which makes sense. String looks even nice, so nothing to complain. What do we have? 40 pounds? I didn't have my cereals! No, it's actually quite easy. <laughs> so it's, just, it's really easy for a 40 pounder. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's this Assyrian, it's, it looks a little handle-wise like a Turkish. And then of course the missing uh, seers, then it's more this Persian design, but it's a beautiful. I don't see, <laughs> I don't see anything, but it's straight, nice. Ooh, there's na. Jesus Christ, there's nothing going on. Did I say Jesus Christ? Thing? I tell you the price height. <clears throat> it's quite high, I like that. It's oh, exactly eight inches. And the weight of the bow, of course, yes, I tell you the weight of the bow. It's 550. Oh, 535. Today I'm in a mood. So when I measure the, when I can guess the weight right, then everything is fine. So let's see. So from, oh, there's not much going on here. And then you have already. <laughs> Holy cow. Jesus. 32 inch arrows. I guess I stick with 32, but I'm not sure yet. I have 33 inch arrows too. Easy. You see that? No, wait a sec. There are 33. I have different spines then, so we can check what the bow is doing. Easy, easy 33 inches for a short bow like this. And look at the string angle is just a little, because we have extremely recurves. So it's a bit more than 60 degrees maybe. <laughs> oh, you know what we're going to do now? Yes. First set of arrows are 500 spine and they are 450 grain. So this is the minimum when you would full draw, but the arrows are 32 inches. So I guess at 32 two inches we draw half a poundage of 47, eight ish. And then we are fine in the nine grain. Easy peasy. Holy cow. And down. These ones are 450 and 400 spine. Taurus. <sighs> I doesn't look good for the patrons. I was not full draw, see? Jesus Christ. And they are now 33 inches and 300 spine, but they are almost 500 grain. So it's good, it's fine. Oh, so 33 is not working for me. Yeah, yeah, after a while. Oh, but then you feel it in the hand. 
So, so that's me. I'm not used to shoot 33 inches anymore, I'll show you. You see the tight group? They are all the 32 inches and these three on the right side, they are the 33 inches. So I'm really not used to draw that long anymore. A little more distance, the 450, 500 spine. And I shoot again the thumb ring from Bamboo Archer in Malaysia. Wait, wait to the left, maybe a little too soft. Let's try a little torque. Oh, yeah. oh. <coughs> this furry thing is they still. Huh? <coughs> Jesus. So, bit heavier and 400 spine. <coughs> oh, I almost overdrew it. Nice. The draw of this one is exceptional. Wow. Just wow. So the long ones again. Let's see if I draw 33 inches. Ooh, I only need a distance. Ooh, nice. So I guess with even 33. Oh, I feel Feel it for now a little in the hand, even if there's nothing going on, but you have a little bit in the hand. But it's not annoying, it's just there. Wow. So these long arrows are for these ones I need an arrow puller. I couldn't get them out of the target anymore. Holy crap, this penetration part of this bow. Whew. So A little wobbly, but that's me. Well, looking forward to shoot this one on a 3D park. Damn it, it's a good bow. Oh, that was a bad shot, I collapsed. But my shoulder hurts already. I guess this boy is too heavy for me. <laughs> but it tells you directly what's going on. Wow. Ah, longer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus Christ, do you see this impact? Of these longer arrows, oops. <sighs> this is so a few bad shots, but this bow directly tells you what's going on. So, this is an easy peasy bow for hitting something. So, I really go away. I really need to take this to the 3D parkour and go for a whole spin. If for now my shoulder already hurts, so for this one, if you want hair punish, make sure you can handle it. I can't. Wow. Just. Wow. And one more time. <laughs> So draw is easy, 32, easy, really easy. There is no stacking. Wow. Oh yeah, so the boy will fall in love with. Holy moly. So now 33 inches, let's see. <laughs> you hear this impact power. Collapsing. Ah, 
I feel it a little in the hand. Oh, we have mosquitoes today. But it's not annoying, so we have a little, but it's so minor. Forget it, get one and have fun. Then let's do it the old fashioned way. These are the, these are the 500, uh, four, five, 400 spine, 500 grain. I need to test with this machinery a bit more first. 180. Hundred eighty seven. <coughs> Four hundred fifty grain. Oops, hundred seventy eight. Don't think so. 178, what the heck is, do you measure again, huh? 190, <coughs> so, and 33 inches, 50, 500 grain. <sighs> ay, 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 188. This bow has a good speed, has a draw length, never ending. Could you, with the, you know, with the Turkish handle design, it's always a little more tricky to do your Kasai style, but you can make it work, so it's not a big thing. And you can shoot three fingers. And even, oops, 28 inches, this bow is just awesome. So this is a really good option for horse archers. Short draws smooth, holy crap, and fires the arrows away like this one is not so fine so you need to fiddle them between your fingers but you know this drill here from this you know all around and blah but yeah you know who cares Ottoman style hoo -ha. so with a little torque and without thumbring oh nice even without thumbring nice But let's try. This is the KTP glove. I got it from Freddy Archery. If you look for such an option of leather protection, but of course you should check Archer's Titpits. He does various in different colors and threads, nice thumb protectors. And if you want with an index finger protector and everything, so check him out. Obviously I did videos about his protectors. So 33 inches. Holy moly. I love this bow. A little torque, that's all that needs. <laughs> this is, so the last three, you will find in the center. Now let's see, random test, all three different arrows, length, spine, weight. Ooh. See it because of the feather. Wow. Oh, there was a patch out. I felt it. Now oh, 33 feels nice too. Holy mo. No matter which length, which spine, which weight, this boat delivers. So, had a little workout today. Almost sweating, but we had today. 16, 17 degrees and sunshine, so I was fine. Do I really need to do a, a so packaging, a bow, string, a sleeve, documentation, and if you order this birch bug, you get the glue. So we have eight points. Handling of this bow, it's pretty easy to string, so there are no long sears or something, and this bow is oh, stiff and stiff so this bow is just stiff 
so easy to string, to unstring. You have these string grooves here that the string runs in. You can make sure that everything is, this bow is just working. 10, the build 10, I don't have to explain anything about Navani bows, right? I don't have to, it's just beautiful and so well made that it's just, wow. I only scratched up now the handle with a clamp of this Alipo speed thingy. Basic feel, just wow. Handle, just in. With your three fingers, you press a little, you have this little bit of cutter or you overgrip a little bit and you have a little more torque, whatever, or you can do your normal cutter. This bow is short enough for everything you want to do. And if you don't want to do cutter, it's fine too. So if you don't want to do anything, it's fine too. The bow works still, but of course, if you do a little torque, you overgrip a little bit. It's just 10. Draw experience, 10 plus. It's like, there is no stacking, there is no tomorrow, even a 33 inch arrow. Look, I have no, go away. Today we have mosquitoes. 33 inch arrow, look at this. Look at the front, here, easy. Of course, with higher poundage, it gets a little stiffer maybe, but look, I can even drop more than 33. So there's no, nothing going on. It's just an incredible bow. So draw experience is one of the finest I ever had. 10. Shooting experience 10 is like, after three shots, you know already what this bow is doing. And then you simply need to have your form together. And then you know what this is like. <laughs> Even this cut that feels nice. This bow, this, and you don't want to put this bow away. Just a little heavy for me. Even if you draw only 30 inches, look. 30. Nice. 32. Without tumbling. Ah, nice. And 33 without tumbling. Don't <laughs> of course I can. Ah, and this. This, this one inch more makes such a difference in this bow because you with the string angle you're just there at 32, 33. So it's wow, wow, wow. I did already give 10 points, so it's 58. It's more string hold or something. And price value, 630 euros for the base model. Every bow is getting now, or every bow builder needs to adjust the prices because all the raw materials are getting raw materials are getting more expensive so even Lukas needs to do that but when you see what you get for this price you can take the base model then you don't have this horn and not the birch bark and you know it's fine too but of course you're in the league if you want this bow you want to have the birch bark it's just 60 euros at uh, the birch bark and then the fake horn belly and it's 120 euros more and take the stable core always this is another 60 euros which are very well invested so phenolic uh, handle uh, stabilization you should do and of course then you spend this 25 euros on these two arrow passes too that you don't scratch up your leather it's, it's, you know, and then you're at 120, 180, it's 200 more, then you're at 830 in the bit shipping. So what, it's still under 1,000 euros and you get a performing bow. I don't want to say now, you know, horn bow or composite bow or whatever. And this is, you string it and you forget it. You don't need to adjust everything and then here and bend and heat up again and pump and whatever. You pack it, you string it, you go out, and this I can even see this as a really, really good hunting bow as it's silent. I didn't test now the other string. I might do a comparison if there is some, but I don't think so. I don't think there is a lot of difference. It simply stops a little bit of the vibration, maybe, but I give it, even if it's an expensive bow, but this is a different league of bows, I give it five points because it's so worth it you have no idea and if you have the money to spare this one for sure of course if you want to draw longer there's something new coming a sail joke in 34 inches max draw 
but then you have, of course, these long years again. You might have then here a little more stability things going on. This one is such a sturdy piece on a horseback or hunting or whatever. I will take this one to the 3D parkour for sure and run through it. You don't have to worry about this bow. This piece is it's like a Tonka truck. You know, when we were little, we had these Tonka cars you could throw them out of the window, you, they simply didn't get destroyed and this bow feels like one. But still elegant and still the straw curve is just brilliant. So Lukas, really amazing, really amazing. So if I by any chance can handle this for a two hour round through a parkour, this bow will stay with me. If I get problems my patrons can have it. If not, I will order one for you. It's not because you want to have this bow, then I will order one. So if I manage, the bow stays with me. If I don't manage, patrons, this is your bow and you can look so forward to this one. That's an insane bow. Really insane. What can I do? Uh, what can I say? Thank you very much, Lukas, for sending this bow to me. That you always trust my opinion. I mean, but you knew it that I will love this bow, so it's, it's an easy, easy thing for you to do. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. I catch you in the next one.